Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to use Adobe Photoshop to print to the Phaser 7800 GX through Tray 2, which is filled with US letter paper. To begin, we're going to go up to File, and then we're going to scroll down to Print. When the Print dialog box opens, it's going to give us several different options to look through. We're going to start with where it says Printer at the very top, and we're going to change this over to the Phaser 7800 GX option. After it switches over, you're going to want to click on the Print Settings button. And by doing so, you will get a dialog box that looks like this. We're going to make sure that the printer still says Phaser 7800 GX. We're going to go with Default Settings for Presets, as we will end up creating our own here. For paper size, we will stick with US letter. And then you have this layout drop down menu. In this menu, we're going to click on it. And we're going to go to Paper Feed. And where it says All Pages From, we're going to change it to Tray 2. After changing it to Tray 2, we're going to click on the Save button. You'll probably get a little box that pops up that talks about color sync, color matching may have a problem. You don't have to worry about this because in the next step, we will define the actual color profile. So just click OK. Below the print settings box, you have your orientation. If you want a portrait orientation, you would click on this little icon. If you have a landscape photo, you would click on the other one. For color handling, we're going to switch this from Printer Manages Colors to Photoshop Manages Colors. And then the Printer Profile box will appear as selectable. We'll end up clicking on this and we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom where we'll end up finding the Phaser Profiles. It is a very hefty list we have here. But you'll notice that the Phaser 7800 HMCCP PHNN I1I1P.ICC is all the way at the bottom and this is the one we want. So go ahead and click on it. And then after that we only have a few more options. You'll notice right here you have an option called rendering intent. Instead of being relative color metric we're going to click on it and switch it to perceptual. After switching that to perceptual, the last step is to go down to where you have your height and width. And whatever number is bigger, you're going to want to have changed to 9. So for example, if my height was 12 and my width was 8, in order to get a nice size that fits the US paper, I would want to change the higher number, in this case the height, to a total of 9. After that, you can click on print, and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.